Hey guys, Don here. Welcome to uh, Podiatry Practice Mastery, where we're trying to help bring your office to the million dollar mark. Uh, if you want to learn more, go to podiatrypracticemastery.com, get my free resources. Um, that'll help you kind of do that. And then if you want to, you can join Practice Mastery Academy. I've got a number of doctors that enjoy that. Uh, one of the benefits of that is you can send me questions and I will answer them. So this is, oh, there was one doc that's there. He had, he was just kind of starting out. I gave him all of my Athena resources. So he took all my templates and he put it into his Athena, which I think saved him probably hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars. And uh, there's also something else that I have on there are all my uh, templates that I have um, for my, my like people that I see my patients and things like that. So his question was, um, in terms of billing for orthotics. So he asked me, first of all, does insurance cover orthotic uh, in your in your practice? Um, so in Massachusetts, not normally. There are a couple uh, isolated ones that will cover, sometimes some out of state will, and maybe in your state they do cover it. But in Massachusetts, not generally. We just charge uh, th- uh, $600 uh, for the first pair, and then we give them $200 off for additional pairs. So I always think it's good. Uh, when you in- introduce them, you say um, to increase compliance, most patients get two pairs of orthotics. Um, their first pair for their like athletic shoes that they're wearing, and then uh, a kind of a dress pair or something where it won't fit such a big device. That's my first tip is kind of always introducing or starting that conversation about the two pair for orthotics. Uh, that wasn't my idea. I get those ideas from others <laughs> that, I, that I interview and that I talk to. Uh, the next thing he asked about, well, for coverage, um, how do you do that? Well, I have a, a form that I'm looking at right now. It says how to check insurance coverage for custom orthotics. And it says here for insurance companies that follow Medicare guidelines, orthotics are covered only uh, when dispensing as an integral part of a brace. Uh, so if they're not dispensed with a brace, they're usually not covered. So this is something we know. You can dispense them as part of a brace, that L3000 code. Um, you can also do an orthotic with a diabetic shoe, right? But that's typically not a custom orthotic. It's more of an accommodative orthotic. Um, and we give them instructions. So I'm going to put a little link underneath this um, podcast with a, with a one link to my, uh, it's called my EMR resources, um, my medical record resources. And these are all my patient handouts and things like that I give to everyone. If you want access, you can get those. And then specifically this actual how to check insurance coverage thing. So it's going to say one, contact your insurance company to inform the representative you're looking for a benefits and inquiry, give them the code L3000, tell them it's not part of a brace. Okay. Uh, And tell them it's not for diabetic shoes. Uh, Tell them the diagnosis and we give them the diagnosis ask them about the deductible, ask them about copay, put their name and who the representative was. So we give them this to check that because if they come in and say, hey, you know, my insurance covers it, many times they don't cover it. And then we get the short end of the stick. They kind of get up upset about us. So that's how we um, do this uh, so they don't get any any surprises with uh, with doing the orthotics. If you guys have any other questions about orthotics, uh, let me know. Uh, within Podiatry Practice Mastery uh, or the Academy there, I have uh, a master class we did on orthotics a while back. I, I did talk a little bit about this in there. So if you want to learn kind of how to explain orthotics better, there's a nice interview as well with Larry, Larry Huffman. He does a lot of orthotics in this practice. So I recommend checking that out. Also, if you have any other questions, uh, please send me an email, Don at Podiatry Practice Mastery. I'll do it in a, a future podcast for you. Okay. Once again, hope you enjoy things. Hope practice is going well. Bye.